I'm a part of Slime Pack Nation. I love everything you're doing, and I appreciate you for letting me pull up on the channel. Salute. It's, it's, it's possible. It's like very possible. So if you're a new trucker out there, get your experience first because it's gonna be hard getting a dedicated position uh, if you don't got no experience. But once you get your experience, get a good dedicated position that makes sense to you. It makes sense to you, like literally. It gotta make sense to you, like whatever that means to you. Hey, what is up Slime Pat Nation? Welcome back to the channel, welcome to the vlog. If you new here and you haven't done these things, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Be sure to do that for you, girl. I really appreciate it, y'all. I really be out here putting in that work and trying to give y'all the best quality content that I can. But in today's video, I ain't gonna say interviewing, but letting y'all hear advice from other truckers that's out here in this industry. So today, the Prime Ink driver meets an X Swift driver, y'all. So today, I got Perry Films. Hold up. Stop what you're doing. I know y'all see that on the screen. After I get done talking, please, Slime Pat Nation, I need y'all to pause this video, go over to his channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell, and comment on one of his videos and let him know that Slime Pat sent you. I appreciate y'all, Slime Pat Nation. Now, after y'all get done with that, let's get back to the video. So without further ado, I'm gonna let him finish introducing himself. What's up, Slime Pack Nation? It's your boy, TP3. I hope y'all have an amazing day. I hope y'all having a great day. I hope y'all woke up today and got active. Hope y'all woke up today to be better than yesterday. Because my motto is be blessed, be grateful for another day to be better than yesterday. So always kill the day, no matter what it is. Regardless, regardless of if it's trucking, anything in life, you should always try to grow to be better every day. Every day. Every day. Hey, my name is TP3. You can follow me at... at Perry Films Production. If you never heard of me, if you never seen my videos, swing over there to my videos right now. You can actually pause this right now. I know Slime Pack won't mind y'all. Just pausing this video right now. Swing over there, you know, watch my videos. Uh, if you like what you see, smash the subscribe button. You know, be a part of the family. Smash the like button. Smash the notification button so you can tap into me. You know what I mean? Make sure you, you know, can stay updated to my videos because I drop daily for sure. And I'm actually building a, a nice, solid core family over there. So yeah, come, you know, come be a part of the new, come be a part of the family, man. Everybody is welcome. I welcome everybody with open arms for show show. So Slime asked me to do this video for y'all. She gave me three questions. The three questions is how long you've been trucking? How has trucking changed your life? How is it working at Swift? And it's trucking a long goal, why or why not? So I'm going to get right to the first one. How long I've been trucking? I've been trucking since 2022. I got my license March 2022. Best, best experience of my life. Best experience of my life. If you know about trucking and you know about the beginning processes of taking, you know, going to, going to school, doing all the tests, doing all the driving courses and getting your permit. You know, if you know that process, you know what I mean. So I got my I got my license in March 2022, uh, and I've been I've been I've been moving ever since. I've been growing and getting better, and just learning this trucking game ever since. You know, so it's been about going on two and a half years now since I've been trucking for sure. But how it changed my life? It changed my life a lot because it allowed me to travel the world while getting paid. Come on now, who who doesn't like that? How can that not change in my life? You know what I mean? Traveling the world, seeing the world for free while you're getting paid is top tier. Like, you can't get no better than that. It's not a lot of things that's better than that. Traveling the world while getting paid is, is the best experience ever. You know what I mean? So, it allowed me to see a lot in the world. Like, I'm talking about, like, when it comes to nature and just... All that good stuff, you know what I mean? Because I was a basketball player, so it's not a lot of places I haven't been, but it's different from doing it on the truck, you know what I mean? It's different. So I would say traveling-wise, definitely it helped change my life. And I will say, like, just, uh, I would say traveling, and I will say just the fact that you have peace of mind on the truck, it allows you to open your mind to just think, you know what I mean? Just 
to have that downtime to just think. I love that feeling for sure. Yeah, because I'm a thinker. I'm a processor. One thing about me, when I have something that I want to do, I got to think it through. You know what I mean? I'm one of those people. I'm one of those people that before I make any moves, I got to process it. I got to think ahead of what could happen or what couldn't happen or what I got to do before I get there. I'm just a thinker. So just having that downtime on the truck allows me to process all the goals that I want to do, all the things that I want to change in my life. It just gives you that time. So I love that. And that's big for me because I'm a thinker. Like I say, I do this on a regular, even if I'm not on a truck, but just being able to you know, do that on the truck. I love it. You know? Yeah. I love that feeling for sure because it's like nobody's on your back. That's another thing I like. Nobody's on your back. Like you actually an independent person out there by yourself doing your thing. You know what I mean? Nobody's on your back. None of that. You have just peace of mind. You can do what you want. You can stop when you, when you want. You can be on your phone when you want safely. I don't want to buy being on here saying, Oh, he just be on his phone while he's driving. No, no, I'm talking about safely, you know, I'm being real cautious. I'm not just driving and texting. I'm just saying like, you know, you can just talk on your phone, still talk to your family, you know, do a bunch of stuff. So I would say that's one of the things how it changed my life, you know. So traveling, you know, just being able to have that independence out on the road and just just seeing just seeing the world, just seeing areas of the world you've never seen before. For sure. The second question she asked me was, uh, how was it working at Swift? <laughs> it's funny when I get this question because you know everybody talk crazy about Swift. And now that I've been in the trucking game for so long, I feel like people be talking about every company for real. It's not even <laughs> it's not even just Swift, but Swift is just one of those top tier ones that everybody just slander. I don't know why, but they just slander Swift all the time. And I get it. People have bad experience at Swift. Some people don't have bad experience at Swift. And I'm one of the people that didn't have a bad experience at Swift. So I'm about to talk all good things about Swift right now. You know, I know people watching this video are saying, oh, no, I don't like Swift. But you're probably saying that about a lot of people companies. You know what I mean? I know it's a lot of people on here right now that probably don't like Prime. But when we see Slime Pat talk about Prime, it's all good things. He probably expires so many people to to drive with slime, to uh, drive with Prime. Just like a lot of people hit me up and always tell me how, you know, yo, I be hearing a lot of bad stuff about Swift, yo. You making me want to go to Swift, like you know, all the stuff I heard. You make it look good, and that's what it's about, you know. It's about your experience and what makes sense to you. So I will say, working at Swift has been a great experience. It taught me a lot, you know what I mean? Because any any trucking job you have, you should always be trying to grow from it and learn from it from for, for whatever you want to do. See me, which I'm going to get to on the last question, see me, trucking is, was never my, like, it's never, it's, it's not the end game for me, you know what I mean? Like, I want to expand this trucking to another level. I don't want to drive forever. Shout out to the super truckers that have been doing it for 20 years. You know, I'm not here to disrespect that. You know what I mean? Salute to you. You know what I mean? But for me, trucking is not something I'm going to do for the long game. I'm going to be behind it. I'm going to always have something to do with trucking for sure. But it's not the end game for me. It's, you know what I mean? It's not, the, it's not what I'm going to be doing forever. You know, I'm not going to be behind the wheel forever for sure so for me swift been a great experience for me because it's teaching me a lot you know uh i'm gaining experience for sure and they take care of me they took care of me like i say i know a lot of people saying swift don't do this swift don't pay this swift don't take care of you and all this but they took care of me and that's just my experience like i always tell truck drivers man do what makes sense to you for sure if it don't make sense to you don't do it my position at Swift made sense to me and for whatever I wanted to get out of it, it made sense to me. So my experience with Swift been amazing. It took care of me. If you're looking to go to Swift, you should because they will allow you to gain experience. You know what I mean? Because they allow you to come in with no experience and gain experience. You know how it is with these trucking companies. So 
Swift allow you to come in with no experience. They're going to train you. They're going to do whatever the case may be. So definitely. I feel like Swift is one of those companies that allow you to come in and grow. You know, for sure. So my experience with Swift was amazing, for sure. All right, so the last question she gave me is, is trucking a long-term goal? Why or why not? Like I said previously, trucking is definitely a long-term goal, but not just driving. I don't see myself driving the whole time. For sure, I don't see myself driving. I want to own a few trucks, you know? And y'all the first is y'all, I know my I know my followers and my subscribers are gonna be mad that I said it first here, but in another week I will be starting owner oper operator with my own truck through a fleet with my homeboy. You know what I mean? Give it up for me, you know, you know, you know, you know. It's like no, but for real though, I would be starting my own owner operated job with one of my homeboys under his fleet. So that's gonna be a great experience. If you want to track my journey, like I say, make sure you go over to my page at Perry Films Production. You know, follow the journey because it is going to be a great journey. And this is a part of my long term goal. You know, my first step was, you know, to drive, get the experience, learn the road, you know, learn about the fuel network, you know, get to know people. Just, you know, just learn. I wanted to do a hands on, I'm a hands on type of person. So, at first, when I first started, thought about trucking, I wanted to do this. I wanted to be an owner operator behind the scenes. But then I thought like, no, nah, just let me go ahead and just get my own CDOs and get out there myself and learn it. You know, the best experience is by going out there and doing it. So that's what I did. So like I said, I'm going to be starting my own owner operator with one of my homeboys under his fleet, which I'm super excited about. I'm super excited about that because that's the next step. Like I said, the first step was to get experience, learn the road, and then get my get my truck and go on their fleet and run for my own stuff. You know what I mean? Where I gotta, you know, I'm paying fuel out of my pocket. I'm doing everything. You know, I'm a, I'm my own boss. So that was the next step. So my next step after this is to get another truck and employ people, you know, and be behind the scenes <clears throat> dispatch because dispatch ain't nothing for a trucker dispatch ain't nothing because we actually learned the hardest part for real, you know, about fuel, how many gallons this take, you know what I mean? Knowing how to, uh, uh, pre-trip and all that good stuff. We know about that already. So truck drivers can be dispatchers anytime, just like in companies where, you know, when you go to a company and, the trainer or whatever the case may be, or the person that's in the uh, beginning stages, like when you're doing orientation, they used to be drivers, you know? So instead of me doing it for another business, I want to do it for my business. I'm all about financial literacy. I'm all about just owning my own, you know what I mean? So trucking is a long-term goal, but being behind the wheel wasn't the long-term goal. I wanted to get in here, get what I got out of it, got, get out of it, and get out, you know? So my process definitely is definitely going the course that I wanted, you know? I always say the pro always trust the process. So it's definitely a long-term goal for me, but just in a different way. So like I say, my name is TP3. I don't wanna talk y'all to death because I do yap a lot and I don't wanna be all over the place because I love talking. But like I say, my name is TP3. Make sure y'all go over to Perry Films Production you know what I mean? Watch my videos. Like I said, if you like what you see, smash the subscribe button, like button, comment below, show your boys some love, join the family. And before I get off here, I just want to say salute the Slime Pack. Keep doing your thing. You know what I mean? I'm a part of Slime Pack Nation. I love everything you're doing and I appreciate you for letting me pull up on the channel. Salute.